What is going on guys? Today I'm going to make a video that's going to help 97. I'd be almost willing to go up to 98% of people, including myself, because I'm going to watch back and check this video out because I always lose fuse box doors. I mean, Fleetwoods, it's a big problem. You got a fuse box door, you're doing pretty good. I've got one floating around here somewhere. I'm going to look at my cars. I don't remember if they have them or not. I don't think they do. Uh, we're about to find out. And I'm going to get you a picture of them. That way you can resort back to this video instead of digging through your toolbox or digging through your trunk, digging through your glove box and looking for one. But before I do all that, you can say a thank you by hitting the subscribe button and the like button. But now we'll get to it. And we're going to rummage through the fleet of Fleetwoods and see what I got. All right, we're going to start out in my 96 Fleetwood. The trunk's popped open because I uh, opened it and pulled the battery. Totally forgot about it. So got to put the battery back in. This one's got a fuse panel cover, which is very, very surprising. I didn't think it did. So, there is the cover that is upside down for a 96. There is the cover that is right for a 96. I'm going to take a picture of it because I'm probably shaking. But that is a 1996 Cadillac Fleetwood. I'll get you a picture here. All right, now we're checking the old 93. To be honest, I've pretty much just given up on seeing if these things are in here anymore. Boom! Two for two. All right. All right, so we learned that 93 and 96 are different, which I kind of figured they would be two different motors completely. So, yeah, 95, let's see if we can go three for three, because like I said, I got to where I just don't pay attention if the fuse door is there anymore. So let's check it out and see if this one's got it. All right, moment of truth. Place your bets. Put your bets in the comments. Oh, damn it. Well, this one doesn't have it. I guess I'll look and see if maybe it's in the car somewhere. Well, you can't win them all. Two out of three ain't bad is what Meatloaf says. Uh, I did look through the paperwork that I got with the car. Believe it or not, there was actually a fuse cover in there. Uh, unfortunately, it was blue, and it didn't have any sticker whatsoever, so that does me absolutely no good. I do have one from the Blue Rose floating around somewhere. The tabs are broke on it, so once again, kind of does me no good. It does have the label on it, so I mean, that kind of helps. But seeing as you got this one, I got that. And now I'm making this video, I got that. So... I myself will resort back to this many, many times. So if it helped you out, hit the like button, subscribe. We do a bunch of Fleetwood stuff, obviously. So the wind was picking up. Uh, everybody and their mother wanted to drive by. Plans are flying by. Clyde's crowing. So I figured I'd hop in the lack, get a little bit of quietness. I do believe the fuse panels for 94, 95, 96 are the same. Obviously, we found out that 93 is different. Um, I wish I did have one for 95 that I could tell. But I'm pretty sure they're the same. Don't quote me. If you do know they're different, definitely put it in the comments. Uh, that way I can maybe try it down a 95, 94 fuse cover. Unfortunately, I don't have a 94 here to even have a chance to tell. But, like I said, I'm pretty sure they are the same. They're the same motors. But, I'll tell you a bonus. They do have different distributors. Whether or not it'll work, they're, whether or not they're compatible, I couldn't tell you. But I do know for a scientific fact that they're a different part number. And the reason they're a different part number is because it has a little wheel, like a reluctor wheel, I guess is what it's called. But uh, a 94 has a few less, I think a 94 and a 95 have a few less little notches uh, in it than a 96. The reason I know that is I used to work at a parts store and I took them both apart, counted it, see what the difference was. That's the only thing I'd come up with. But whether or not they're interchangeable, I'm not 100% sure. If you know that, also tell me, because I am curious just out of random luck. Uh, I've never had to, uh, swap out any distri I mean can't say I haven't had to swap out distributors who hasn't had to swap out distributors on LT1 but I haven't had to use a used distributor on my cars I've always bought new ones and I've had really good luck uh, I bought them from AutoZone everybody says use the AC Delco I've got a uh what do I have them on now I've got I got AutoZone one on the gold Cadillac and I had AutoZone one on my race car Cadillac which I don't have anymore I wrecked it uh had no problems out of either one of them and I think there's another one floating around somewhere. I don't remember what it was. Uh, but anyways, they're getting sidetracked. So back to the fuse panels. Uh, there you go. Take a picture or take a screenshot of it. And you can carry it around in your pocket at all times. That way you always have it. Um, I definitely know I will be resorting back to this video. Uh, I've kind of learned with having a YouTube channel. It is kind of handy when I go to put a project back together. I was throwing the uh, inner fender wells in on my tan Cadillac. Totally forgot where the bolts went. Watch the video. They're all in the correct position now. 
So anyways, hopefully it helped you out. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe, leave some comments, tell me what you think, and we'll see you on the next video. Appreciate you watching. What's the problem? <laughs>